Yes, see you waves album, bro. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here. Internet's busiest music nerd, and it's <coughs> time for a review of the new Waves LP, Afraid of Heights. <coughs> you don't know how high I am up here. You don't know. I could be four stories up for all you see. Waves is the musical project of singer, songwriter, guitarist, Nathan Williams. And Nathan and this project blew up around the 2008 2009 time period when lo fi rock, garage, and pop music was kind of in its craze stage. This LP featured a lot of garage rock and punk tunes that had a very poppy personality to them, but there were shrill blankets of distortion and overmodulation covering almost every single track. Not to mention the pretty obnoxious vocal effects that Nathan would occasionally put on his voice on some of these songs. I guess this point in time is not that long ago, but it feels like it was so long ago, especially when you sort of look at Nathan's musical evolution since this LP. And the thing is, the transition didn't really take that long to happen. It was as early as 2009 that Nathan Williams was putting out tracks that were pretty well recorded with the one and only Zach Hill on drums. And by the time 2010 came around, Nathan dropped King of the Beach, which was essentially, it sounded to me like a studio recorded album. And I guess you could say relatively his songwriting was getting a little more ambitious. Now with this new LP, Nathan's personality stays relatively the same. Pretty much everything you have heard up until this point, it's not really a big surprise. What is sort of the kicker here is the mix of influences because Afraid of Heights incorporates way more elements of grunge and alternative rock. The production on this LP is way heavier, the drums are punchier, the guitars and bass meld together in this really thick, resonant way. The entire makeup of this album sonically sounds scary alike to Nirvana's Nevermind, truthfully. Which I guess is not all that surprising for a guy who wrote a song called I Want to Meet Dave Grohl. And the album Nevermind has not just influenced this album sonically, but from a songwriting standpoint as well. The song Dog on this LP, there are moments, especially in the acoustic guitars and the chord progression, that sound eerily alike that of Polly. And the explosion of slacker guitar riffs on the hooks of particular songs on this LP, like That's On Me, sound very nevermind as well. There is a very clear breadcrumb trail of influences throughout this LP. Like for example, the verses on the track Beat Me Up sound eerily alike that of Where Eagles Dare by the Misfits. Now even with this huge embrace of Nirvana's Nevermind, Waves still stays pretty true to its sound, its personality, its ethos with all of the the repetitive lyrics, the simple vocal melodies as well. Though I guess if there's anything that is a change to this album narratively, Afraid of Heights is actually way more in tune with Nathan's more emotional side, his more depressed side, which I actually kind of liked hearing on his previous full-length LP with tracks like Take On The World, where you have Nathan dissecting his musical abilities, saying that he hates all of his writing and hates all of his music because it all sounds the same. And and that dissection continues on a much deeper level on this new LP with a track like Demon to Lean On and, and the title track on this LP which has severe feelings of loneliness coming through the hook. Moments of insecurity and self-deprecation continue on other tracks on here like Paranoia and I Can't Dream. However, with this slight change in Nathan's tune, I still can't really say that he's matured all that well as a songwriter. I have to still kind of agree with the statement he made about his writing sounding the same on the song Take On The World. And I guess a lot of the Though Nathan's singing and his songwriting style does have a certain personality, you know a wave song when you hear it, this is the first LP I've heard where I really kind of feel like it's more of a crutch than a help to his cause, because it's made so many of the songs on this LP just sound so homogenous. And what's weird is that Nathan seems to be very conscious of this weakness, but he seems to embrace it as opposed to fix it, and maybe that's because he loves his flaws in the way that he finds inspiration from them for songs writing material, which is very clear from a lot of the subject matters on this LP. However, I don't really buy Nathan as a depressing, singing, songwriting sad sack. Because while I'm sure that Nathan has legitimately sad feelings that do bother him, I don't think you could argue that he conveys them all that well, or all that poetically, or 
passionately on a lot of these songs, at least in a way where it makes the listener feel for him or even relate to him in a way. None of you will ever understand me. There are rarely any spots on this LP where I feel like Nathan says anything that's significantly deep or moving or even twisted, even as Nathan is throwing out imagery of a gun to his head. You know, there are some things that I really liked about this LP overall. The production is great, the energy is there, though this album is Wave's cleanest production yet, it still rocks. What ends up getting me down at the end of the day is the songwriting. The lyrics, the vocal melodies, as well as just some of the hooks are so shallow and so samey samey that many of them are just completely unmemorable, though not really terrible or offensive to the point where I want to turn off the album. Still, I can't really say I disliked or hated this album. It was just sort of a fun, poppy rock record with a kind of heavy grunge sound. I'm feeling a strong five to a light six on this thing. If you've given it a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? Here's another opinion. Hey, when are you gonna review that other album that you're gonna review? Review one, the other album everyone wants to you to review, huh? Review that other album, huh? Yeah. Well, that's not annoying. Waves, afraid of heights, forever. <laughs>